Okay. Namaste. I'm Anita. Thank you so much for sharing your, your practice with me today. Uh, so let's begin by sitting comfortably. If you have a block, use a block to sit. Or if you have a cushion or if you can sit comfortably on the floor, just go ahead. Sitting comfortably, feeling established in however you're sitting, wherever you're sitting. Beginning to become aware of your body. Keep your eyes closed. Just observing the shape of, of your body. Like the way you're sitting. Slowly moving your awareness to your yoga mat. Letting that go. Becoming aware of the surface that you're sitting on. Checking to see if you're equally balanced on both your sit bones. Slowly letting that go. Becoming aware of your back. As you inhale, lengthen your back. As you exhale, relax your back. Becoming aware of your shoulders. Inhaling, roll your shoulders up and out. Exhaling, relax your shoulders, opening up your half space. Aware of your head and neck. Is it in line with the spine? Is your head centered? Your head should not be falling forward or backwards. It should be light and balanced on your body. Slowly start becoming aware of your right big toe space. Right heel, right knee, base of the pelvic floor, abdominal space, navel space, heart space, throat space, third eye space in between your eyebrows, top of the head, crown space. Moving your awareness from top of the head, crown space, to the third eye space, throat space, heart space, navel, abdominal space, base of the pelvic floor, left knee, left heel, left big toe space. Bringing your awareness to the tip of your nose. Watching your inhalations and exhalations. Slowly making your inhalations long. Exhalations even longer. With the next few exhalations, let go of anything that is bothering you, any worries, any aches and pains, anything that is not letting you stay in the present moment. Just exhale everything out. Making your mind stable. Establishing it with your breath. Let's chant home one time. Take a nice deep inhale breath. Listening to the sound of silence that comes after Om. Set an intention for your practice or for anything that you need in your life. Maybe like I'm happy, I am joyful, whatever that you would like.
And slowly, dropping your palms, make them nice and warm. Gently cover your eyes. Relax your eye muscles. Slowly blink it open into the light. Now, let's begin with our loosening practices. First, let's begin with our neck. Take your hands, rest it behind, closer to your body. This helps to keep your back straight. Relax your shoulders. Inhaling, neck goes back. Exhaling, tuck in your chin. Inhaling, stretch it back. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. With the next inhalation, bringing your neck to neutral. Next exhalation, twisting it to the left. Inhale, center. Exhaling, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. One last time. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Relax. Let go of your hands. Now let's loosen up shoulders. Bring your hands on your shoulders, your fingers resting on your shoulders. Bring your elbows closer. Inhaling, open up as wide as you can, making big circles. Exhaling, bring them closer. Inhale, open up. Exhale, bring them one more time. Inhale, open. Exhale, bring them closer. Now reverse. Inhale, back. Exhale, closer. Inhale. Exhaling. Inhale. Exhale. Bring it back to neutral. Now making waves. Keep your awareness on what's happening in your shoulder joints. Let your mind not wander. Now the opposite way. Being there, being in the present with your body and your mind. Slowly relax your shoulders completely. Now bring your palms, clasping your fingers, keeping it near your navel. Shoulders completely relaxed. Inhaling, stretch your arms all the way up, palms facing up, stretch it up. Exhale, bring it back, palms turning to your navel, relax your shoulders. Now inhaling, stretch it in the front. Inhale, exhaling, bring it back, relax your shoulders. Now all the way up, inhale, stretch it up. Exhale, bringing it back, relax your shoulders. Inhale, right in front of you. Exhale, bringing it back, relax your shoulders one last time. Inhale, stretch, feel the stretch in the sides. Exhale, bringing it back, relax your shoulders. Inhale, stretch it out. Exhale, bringing it back. Completely relax your shoulders, relax your hands. Just for a second, just inhale and exhale, being aware of what's happening in your shoulders. Now, let's do some twists. Inhale, lengthen your body. Exhaling, twist your left, left hand goes back, right hand on your left thigh. Keep breathing, initiating twist from your right waist. Left shoulder tries to stay back. With every exhalation, see if you can twist a little more. Hip stays down. 
Keep breathing. Head and neck will not fall forward. It is in line with your spine. Inhale, center. Exhaling, twist the other side. Again, the same rules apply. Right shoulder tries to stay back. Head and neck in line with the spine. Keep breathing. Inhale, come into the center. Exhale, relax. Take your right hand, place it next to your right hip. In line with the hip, right next to your, we're going to open up our sides. Inhaling, left arm goes up, stretch it up. Exhaling, start sliding your right arm down. Fingers are spread out as only as much as you can go. Left hip stays down, left thigh stays down. If you're comfortable here, you can open up your left shoulder, look at the left room. Keep breathing, do not overdo anything. Keep listening to your body. Be kind. Ahimsa begins with your body. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. And bringing your shoulder back to neutral if you're looking up. Then inhaling, sliding your arm up. Coming back. Exhaling, left hand comes down. Place it next to your left hand. Inhaling, right arm goes all the way up. Stretch it up. Exhaling, sliding down to the left. Right hip stays down. Right thigh stays down. If you're comfortable, you're going to open, look up at the right shoulder, right roof. Keep breathing. Pressing down on the left hand, left palm. Fingertips are also pressing down. Distributing the weight. Now, Bringing your shoulder back to neutral. Inhaling, coming up. Exhaling, bringing your hand down. Slowly relax your shoulders. Now, if you're sitting on something, let go of it. Now, coming on all fours to do your cat and cow. Stack up properly. Shoulder, elbow in line. And your hip and thigh. And everything in a line. Fingers spread out. Inhale. Dropping your navel, arching your back, tailbone goes up. Exhaling, tucking in your tummy, rounding your back, tucking in your chin. Inhale. Dropping navel, arching your back. Exhale, rounding your back, tucking in your chin. Inhale, arch, tailbone goes up. Exhale, rounding your back. Two more times. Inhale, arch, fingers are spread out. Pressing down even on your fingertips. Continue, exhale. Inhale, arch. Exhale, tucking your tummy, rounding your back, tucking your chin. With the next inhalation, come to neutral. With the next exhalation, tuck in your toes, tummy pulled in, pushing your hip up to downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Swanasana. Walk your dog a few times here. Releasing the hamstring to the back. Pressing your heel down of one leg, the other on your toes. Now keeping it in neutral. Heels go trying to go down, hip trying to go up. Thighs going to the back of the room. Chest trying to come towards your thighs. Shoulders moving away from your ears. Fingers spread out, pressing down even on your fingertips. Looking at your toes, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Slowly look in between your hands. Start walking your feet forward slowly, bending at the knees. Tummy lying on your thighs, hands on your hips, pressing down on your feet. 
Inhaling, tummy tucking, coming up one vertebrae at a time, taking time. Exhale, stay. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, back to neutral. Relax. So we're going to do Surya Namaskar. Just to warm up our spine before we do our asanas. If you have blocks, you can put in front of your mat. If you don't, do not worry. We're just going to do the traditional 12 steps Surya Namaskar. First, Tarasana, feet press gently, rooting down. Tummy coming up towards your heart, heart coming up towards your shoulders. Shoulders open up, heart space open. Head and neck in line with the spine, chin parallel to the mat. Tadasana, basic mountain posture. Stability, stiffy for all standing asanas. Feeling rooted. Weight equally distributed on both your feet. Very important. Now, hands at the heart center. In Namaskar Mudra. We're going to take just a few seconds and mentally say thank you to the sun. For providing life on earth, providing us with everything. Mentally just say thank you and attitude of gratitude. Very, very important in life. Let's begin. One, inhale, back bend. Two, exhale, tummy tuck in, forward bend. When you're coming, bringing your hands down, you can place it on the block if you have. Making sure your leg, if everything is in line. Then bending your legs at the knees, placing your hands down, inhaling right leg back, drop your right knee, flatten out your right foot, left knee not going beyond your left toes, exhaling, plank, don't drop your hip down or take it up, keep the integrity in your core, keep it nice and strong, then child will drop your knees, inhale, Exhale here. Inhaling, coming forward, tucking in your toes. Exhaling, bringing your chin and chest forward or your forehead if you wish. Exhaling, stay there without breathing, Kumbhaka. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Eight. Nine. Child's pose. Inhale, exhale. Inhaling, bringing your right foot forward. Exhaling, bringing your left foot forward. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, hands down. Let's continue again. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, left foot back. Exhale, right foot back. Inhale, child's pose. Exhale there. Inhale, coming forward. Exhale, chin and chest down. Relax your shoulders. No breathing. Inhaling, Bhujangasana. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Dropping your knees, child's pose. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, left foot forward. Exhaling, right foot forward. Inhaling, back bend. Exhale, hands down. So let's do one more round. One, back bend. Two, forward bend. Three, right foot back. Four, left foot back. Five, child's pose. Six, ashtanga. Seven, Bhutangasana. Eight, downward facing dog. Nine, child's pose. Ten, man on horseback. Ashwasan to the Nasana. Eleven, forward bend. Twelve, back bend. Hands down. One more. Inhale, back bend. Two, forward bend. Three, left leg back. Four, right leg back. 
five triangles, six ashtanga, seven bhujangasana, eight downward facing dog, nine child schools, ten left foot forward, eleven right foot forward, twelve back bend, slowly bring your hands down, relax, from here, making sure your breath is back to normal breathing pattern. Breathing. Now we're going to begin our asana again. All standing begins with Tadasana, making sure you're strong, you're founded well when you're standing. From here, take your left foot back, right leg in front. And then hips looking forward. If your hip has gone this way, make sure you're squaring your hips, adjusting it, both the hips looking forward. From here, if you have blocks, you can keep two blocks to help you. Or if, you're, if you have difficulties, you can always put a chair in front of you to help you with some asanas. Now from here, inhale, take your hands up, open up your chest, bend your right leg at the knee. Exhale, bring your hands down, straighten your leg. You're just working on the knee before going to Virabhadrasana. Inhale, bend your leg at the knee, hands go up. Exhale, hands come down, straighten your leg at the knee. One more time. Inhale, hands go up. Exhale, bring it down. Now with the next inhalation, you're going to hold Virabhadrasana 1, warrior posture, warrior 1. Inhale, tummy gently tucked in, bending your right leg at the knee, pressing down on your toes, hands go up. Shoulders going towards each other at the back. Heart space open. Fingers spread out. Feel that energy. Pressing down on the left foot. Pressing down on the toes of the right foot. Knee towards your little finger. Little towards your pinky slightly. Not falling in. Tummy in. No stress on your knee at all. Feeling strong. Legs are strong holding you up. Keep breathing. Heart space is open. With exhalation, see if you can go down a little more. Adjust your back leg, see if you can go down a little more, taking your pelvis down. Keep breathing. And slowly bring your hands to Namaste. Inhale, exhale, come on the toes at the back. Take a twist to the right. Take your right left elbow, bringing it on the outside of the Right thigh, keep breathing. From here, coming to the center. Now, if you have blocks, you can use blocks. If there are no blocks, you can put your hands on your hips. Inhale, exhaling, falling over your right leg. If you have blocks, bend your leg at the knee. Use blocks, place your hand on the blocks, straighten your right leg. Parshva Konasana. Intense forward bend. Stay there. If you're having difficulties without block, hand, and only as much as you can. Be careful. Do not overdo anything. Keep breathing. Again, do not round your head and keep taking it down. Your back is still parallel to the mat. Now slowly from here. Bend your right leg at the knee, drop your left knee down. You can tuck in your toes if you need to. Coming up, hands on the thighs. Getting ready for lower lunge, Anjane Asana. Find the stability, first find stability in your posture. Pressing down on the foot. Taking the support of your toes at the back. And then, when you're ready, inhaling, hands go up, tummy gently in. Open up, take a back bend if you can. If not, if this is how much you can do, this is where you need to stay or here. Anjane Asana, low lunge. Keep breathing. Now from here, bringing your hands to the heart center. Inhale, 
Exhaling, take a twist to the right. Keep breathing. Find a drishti. If you have no balance, find a drishti. Something to focus on. Exhaling slowly, twisting back. Place your hands down. If you have a block, you can place it on the blocks or on the mat. Take your right leg back. Going in, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. If you need a break for your legs, walk your legs. Then, keeping it in neutral. Lift your left leg up. Open it if you can. Then, swinging your left leg forward in between the blocks or in between the hands. And then, adjusting your back leg, coming up in warrior one on this side. Knee, again, squaring your hips. If your hips are square, and then we'll work on the knee a bit. Inhale, stretch your leg, straighten your left leg, hands up. Exhale, bend your knee, take your hands down. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. One last time, inhale, up. Bend your leg at the knee, that's it. Open up your heart space. Shoulder blades going towards each other. Fingers. Energy of flowing in the fingers. Pressing down on the toes. Press on the second toe in the left leg. Knee towards your pinky, not towards your big toe. Tummy gently pulled in. Stay there. Find the stability. Again, hands at the heart center. Coming on the right toe, take a twist, exhaling, take a twist to the left. And here, inhale, turn into the center. If you have the blocks, use the block, Pashvatonasana. If not, you're coming up, holding your thighs, just staying here, trying to fall forward. If you have blocks, use the blocks, adjust your leg. Try to go forward a little more. Blocks are an excellent prop to help you ease better into the asanas. If you are a regular yoga practitioner, it's always good to invest in blocks. Now from here, bend your left leg at the knee. Drop your right leg at the knee. Coming up, getting ready for Anjani Asana. Sitting up. Inhale, open up, open your heart space. Shoulder blades going towards each other, fingers spread out. Feel that energy. Open up, take a back bend if you can. Keep breathing. Slowly. Bringing your hands to the heart center, Namaskara Mudra. Inhale. Exhale, take a twist to the left. Right elbow going on the outside of your left thigh. Slowly turning forward. Press your hands down. Remove the blocks. Take your left leg back. Going in, downward facing dog once. Stretch it out from here. Drop your knees down. Slowly come on your tummy. From here, touch your forehead down. Hands, chest, near the chest. Inhaling, coming up in baby cobra. So baby cobra would be just trying to keep your chest up. Legs are active at the back. Knees not falling off. Try to move your hands a little away from your mat using your upper body strength. Keep breathing. And slowly from here, bring down. Rest your forehead. If you want to rest, you can make a pillow. Place your head on that and rest. Making sure your breath comes back to normal. Inhale into your abdomen. Exhale into your hips. Relax, heels falling off, toes in. Now from here, 
come into CT, folding the legs at the knee, getting ready for Dhanurasana. Go posture, hands at your ankle, right hand to your right ankle, left hand to your left. If you can hold, or you want to hold the top of your foot, wherever possible. Inhaling, lift up, lift up, lift your chest up, lift your thighs up, kick the leg up and out. You're pressing on the pelvic floor, lift it up. Keep breathing, keep lifting. Keep pressing down, keep lifting. Beautiful back bend. Exhaling slowly, coming down. Letting go of your legs, resting your head, feet apart, heels out, toes in, inhaling each abdomen, exhaling your waist, relaxing. Next, we're going to try the Anurasana one more time. Again, for people who cannot lift both the legs up, you can just lift, hold one, lift the other hand up, lift one leg up. Now, use the modification if you need to. Now, getting ready for the Anurasana. Holding your legs again. Chin touching the mat. Inhaling, coming up. Pressing down on your pelvic floor, lift off your thighs, kick your leg up and out, kick your leg up and out. Keep pressing on the pelvic region, on your abdomen. Keep breathing. Slowly release. Rest. Heels out, toes in. Keep breathing. From here, we're going to do Shalabhasana. Hands by the side, palms facing up. Feet together, close up. Now, for Shalabhasana, you go to finish inhaling. Inhale. Once you finish inhaling, lift off your chest, thighs, legs, hands. Like flying superman, superwoman, whatever you want to call. Keep pressing on the pelvic region, abdomen, keep lifting. Stay there. Shalabhasana, locus posture. Exhaling, drop your hands down. Heels out, toes in, relax. Keep breathing. Now slowly bring your feet together. Hands in your chest. Inhaling. Just come up. Exhale. Go in. Vajrasana for a second. People who find it difficult to sit in Vajrasana, just sit crisscross. And then sitting down to do some sitting asanas. Either you can sit on a block if you need to, or sit directly on the mat if you can keep your back straight. All right. First, let's stretch out our legs, hands at the side. Fingers pointing away, just relax your legs. And first, let's begin with Janu Shirasasana. Holding your right leg at the knee, taking your right foot closer to your left groin. Keep a strap if you have. Keep a strap if you have. Left leg is still straight and active. Your heel should not fall off. Either toes are pointing up or towards. Okay, now getting your length in your back. Inhale, stretch up. Exhaling, lengthen your back. Lengthen your back, feel like you're going to reach for something in the front. And then grab hold of your leg if you can, if your foot. 
If not, use a strap. Do not strap it on the arch, above the arch. You should be able to keep your back straight, maintain that length, start falling forward, shoulders away from your ears, be able to open up, bring your chest forward. If you can reach, walk your hands slowly on the strap, see if you can reach your foot. And then with every exhalation, see if you can relax a little more. Look at your toes or beyond your toes, not turning and bringing your head down. Maintain that length. Your head can come down and your body can touch your leg. When your chest can come down completely. Keep breathing. Stay here. Relax your shoulders. Inhale. Exhaling. Relax. Go down a little more. Slowly inhaling, tummy gently pulled in, coming up, use your arms, exhaling, bring your hands down, hold your right leg, knee pointing up, keeping your hip closer, sorry, keeping your uh, heel closer to yourself. Now we're going to try to do Manichi C. Now first hug your right leg with your left hand if you can. Left leg is still straight. Right hand goes at the back. You're twisting. Now for people who can, inhale, exhaling, twist a little more. Take your left leg hand across on the other side of the right thigh. Twist and stay there. If not, just hug your knee and stay. Keep breathing. Left leg is still grounded. Breathing, stay there with your breath. Stay established there with your body. And slowly releasing, inhale, turning back. Exhale, letting go of the leg. Move your knee up and down. Now folding your left leg like the tree. Bringing your thigh. Right thigh closer to your left. Stay in there. Keep the strap with you if you need to. You can place it on your ankle and leave it there. Inhaling, both your arms go up. Stretch up. Exhaling, lengthen. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Then if you can, hold your foot. Relax your shoulders. Back is still straight. Trying to fall over your right leg. And then you should be able to open your hands without crouching like this. If not, strap up, stay there, open. Keep breathing. Shoulders are relaxed. Heart space coming forward, chest coming forward. Looking at the toes or beyond on the floor or somewhere ahead of you. Keep breathing. Have a nice, beautiful smile on your face and have to relax. With every exhalation, see if you can go forward a little more. Keep breathing. Slowly inhaling. Let go of the strap. Inhale, come up. Exhaling, bring the hand down. Relax. Come up. Holding the left leg, left knee facing up. Now, grab hold of your left knee with your right hand. Right leg is still nice and active and straight. Left hand goes back. You're taking the twist on your waist, exhaling. If you can, take your right hand across the left side and you can keep it here or keep your leg hung in. Keep breathing.
slowly turn back. Exhale, relax, stretch out your legs, moving it up and down. And slowly get your legs together for Baddha Konasana. Bound angle. Move your, put your hands underneath, pull your butt fat up so you can sit on the sit bones and you can sit comfortably. Grabbing hold of your feet underneath your, with your hands. Just flapping your thighs a little to release it. Shoulders relax. Just relax your thighs. Now, slowly inhaling, both your arms go all the way up. Exhaling, extend, stretch out, stretch out, stretch out. Place your hands down wherever you can. Probably on your fingertips. Trying to keep your thighs down, use your thigh muscles. Inhale, lengthen your back. Exhaling, trying to walk your hands a little more forward. Stay there. Again, you're looking beyond your two fingers. Not rounding, not trying to come down like this. Trying to keep that length in your back, trying to bring your chest down on your feet. Trying to keep your thighs down. With every exhalation, see if you can walk a little more forward. Lengthen, exhaling, coming down. Keep breathing. Be there with your breath. See what's happening with your body. Wherever your mind is going, bring it back to the yoga mat. Breathing. Inhaling slowly, walk your hands back. Exhale, relax. Now we're going to take a twist in Baddha Konasana. Inhale, lengthen. Exhaling, twist to the left, right hand on your left thigh. Gently pressing the left thigh down. Helping it to open it better. Keep breathing. Inhaling, gently pulling it from the inhaling center. Exhaling, twist to the other side. Gently use your hand pressing down on the thigh. Breathing. Inhaling. Moving forward, exhaling, relax, relax your legs, stretch it out. Gently moving it up and down. Next, we're going to do Gomukhasana. So for Gomukhasana, bring your right leg over the left. Shift your weight to the left. Take your left leg underneath your right. And then knee on knee, if you need to adjust, just slightly come up, trying to bring your knee on knee. And then sitting, both your feet facing back, knee is stacked up on knee. And now take your, if you have a strap, keep a strap handy. Holding the strap in your hand, lifting it, lift left hand up, straighten, taking your palm in between your shoulder blades at the back. Taking your right hand behind, grab hold of the strap or if you can't reach the hand. If you can reach the hand, drop your strap down and hold. Resting your head gently on your left hand so you can stay straight. Keep breathing. Relax your shoulders. Slowly release the back hand first, then release the other hand. Slowly stretch out your legs. Now taking the left hand, left foot over the right. Transfer your weight onto the right, bring your left foot underneath the left hip. 
Now, stacking your knee on knee. If you're not able to, just come forward, take the support of your hand, come forward and then gently sit back and stack your knee on your knee. Again, strap is your best friend if you cannot reach your hand at the back. Taking the strap in the right hand, stretch up your hand, taking the palm in between your shoulder blades, left hand goes back, hold the strap. If you can reach your hand, drop the strap and then grab hold of the fingers, sitting up straight, gently resting your head on your hand, keeping your body straight. Keep breathing. Slowly letting go of the left hand. Let go of the right hand. Slowly stretch both your legs out. Moving it up and down if you need to for good blood supply. Take ankle rolls if you need to. If that is what your body is needing as of now. Take ankle rolls, release. Now slowly lying down for Shavasana. So before you lie down for Shavasana, you're lying down with your knees folded. And then slowly exhaling, hug your legs at the knees, hug it in. Hands shoulder level. Inhale, exhaling, drop your legs to the right, taking the double knee spinal twist. Turn and look to your left hand if you can. Both your shoulders will have to stay down. If this stretch is too intense, just look up at the roof. If you want a better stretch, take your right hand, place it on the left thigh gently. Pressing knee on knee, foot on foot. Stay there. Breathing. Slowly tucking in your tummy, bringing your legs to the chest. Inhale, exhale, dropping them to the left. Again, turning and looking to your right if you can. Again, pressing your knee on knee. High on thigh, foot on foot if you want a better stretch. Turning and looking at the extended right hand or at the roof. Keep breathing. Slowly, tummy tuck in, gently bringing your knees again to the center. Hug your legs in. Take spinal rolls side to side, massaging your back. Slowly, drop your legs down. Adjust your back, pulling your back down, flattening your back. Then stretch out for Shavasana. Palms facing up, feet apart. Scanning your body all the way from your head to your toes. Again, eyes are closed for the whole practice. Moving your awareness to your toes. Gently move your toes, relax them. Relax your heels. Awareness on your calf muscles. Are they relaxed? If not, make adjustments, relax them. Relax your knees behind the knees. Relax your thighs. Gently squeeze your glute muscles, that's your buttock muscles. Letting it go. Relax your whole pelvic region. Awareness on your lower back. Relax your lower back. Relax your mid back. Relax your upper back. 
All the muscles in your back are sinking into the mat, getting heavy. Awareness on your fingers. Relax your fingers. Relax your palms. Relax your elbows, biceps, triceps. Shoulders sinking into the mat. Awareness on the back of your head. Gently tuck in your chin, relax the back. Top of your head is relaxed. Forehead, eyebrows, no frowning. Eyes are completely relaxed. Back of the mouth is relaxed. Teeth completely relaxed, not clenching. Tongue relaxed in the mouth. Heart in your lips, relax your facial muscles. Awareness on your abdomen and your lungs. As you inhale, your abdomen fills up, lungs fill up. As you exhale, everything collapses. Keeping your awareness on your abdomen. Inhaling, your navel reaches its highest point. Exhaling, it sinks in. Continue with the same rhythm. Inhaling, navel reaches its highest point. Exhaling, it collapses, relaxing everything in there. Continue with the same rhythm. Slowly becoming aware of your body. Gently moving your toes and your fingers. Only bringing your feet together. Holding your legs at the knees. Turning to one side, resting your head on your hand. Bringing the other hand in front of you. Supporting your body, staying there in the fetal position for a few breaths. Whenever you're ready, eyes are still closed. Coming to sitting without disturbing the relaxation that has just happened. Sitting comfortably. Eyes are still closed. Body is relaxed, shoulders relaxed, mind totally, totally relaxed. We're just going to do box breathing for a few minutes. Before that, making sure your mind is established in your breathing. Uh, can you effortlessly bring your mind back to your breath? Is your tongue relaxed in your mouth? Is your breath back to your normal breathing pattern? Let's begin. 
on your breath. Can you effortlessly bring your mind back to your breathing every time it wanders? Being there in the state of mindfulness. Watching your breath. Thanking your body for whatever it let you do today. Thanking the divine, thanking the universe, thanking anything that you believe in for everything that you have in your lives. Mentally say thank you, have that attitude of gratitude, being thankful, counting our blessings. Hands at the heart center, Namaskara Mutra. Yogena Chittasya Padena Vacha Malam Shari Rasya Chavaitya Kena Yopakarotam 
प्रवरम मुनीना पतंजल Good speech, good action. Namaste.